Hiya, Claire here from Learning Through Landscapes. Out in the garden enjoying the weather today and with me I've got a lovely book so I'm going to sit down and make the most of this glorious weather and enjoy a bit of time relaxing uh, with, the, with something nice to read. Uh, I'm going to read you a poem today and this is about a dormouse. So here is a dormouse if you've never seen one before. Uh, these cute little critters generally found in woodlands uh, and you're probably unlikely to see one unless you're actually with somebody that holds a license because these are a protected species. So here's one just to give you an idea of what we're talking about today. You might also, if you've got them, want to include any finger puppets to be part of this just to make the story come alive a little bit as well. All right, so I'm going to read you a poem. It's called The Hazel Dormouse and I hope you enjoy it. I am the hazel dormouse, as sleepy as can be. I like to live in woodlands where hiding is easy. I have a chubby body covered with bright golden brown fur and a creamy white belly and I'm a bit tickly under there. My eyes are large and shiny and I have a small rounded ears. I have a tail that's thick and fluffy. I'm a creature that no one fears. I like to build a nest of leaves. Hazel ones are generally best. I use these and strips of wood to make a messy round nest. When in my nest I curl up tight with my tail over my nose, I sleep so deep I never know who comes along or goes. I like to eat flowers and insects and nuts that come from different sources. By the time I've finished eating, I've had quite a lot of courses. It's good for me to be really fat and this is the reason why. It helps me get through hibernation. If I wasn't fat, I'd die. In Old English, my name means the sleeper because I hibernate, you see. I sleep for six months from October. You see, I really like to zee. When hibernating, my body cools down and everything goes slow. This keeps my use of energy down really, really low. Sadly, though, where I live is being destroyed by man. Some people came with chainsaws and threw the trees into a van. Their machines cut down the woodlands and made a mess of my home. Why can't they go back where they came from and leave us dormice alone? Now the woodland is gone and they've realised that it's bad. So they're doing something about it and that makes me feel quite glad. They're putting it right by planting more trees, so hopefully it's not too late to save our special species. I am the hazel dormouse, as sleepy as can be. I like to live in woodlands, where hiding is easy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Get out there, take advantage of the weather, and enjoy your book. Bye!